Welcome to Souls Open RPG. These are the heroes that you can choose, and I thought, well, I'll show them off quickly in single player. What's the plan? What we have. So, you got stun, heal, flow like water, and she's very strong auto attacker, basically. This guy summons, bog standard. This guy, monsoon, with water elemental to support, staff all kind of half half good. This guy's got a stun, but immolation, and he's a strength hero, so not quite so sure on that. She's bog standard, Naga Sea Witch. Penguin has 15 armor here, and a polar bear. Yeah. Air Mage. She's got Wind Walk, Healing Wave, Smog. She seems like a good hero for flexibility here in this. We have Firebolt, Implode, Curse, and Drain Life. So a strong version of Drain Life, because it's his ultimate. And then you got all the panda heroes. So the bog standard panda with his ultimate being a bit weird. Then this guy's pretty cool. He's got pulverize and multiple sort of slow down stuns with avatar to back himself up. Crit, of course, on the panda samurai with fast yeah. attack. This guy is spellcaster, heals himself, uses a summon at the end. We've got tenacious, master of the hand. All of his stuff is really weird. I'm not sure. He can like turn a unit into gold on a long cooldown, but it only works up to level three. Hey, like green spoon. I thank you for the. Subscription. Life. Love and peace to all. Thank you very much. Subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. We're going to play this in a moment as a full team. I think the idea is to sort of build up a base once you get level 3 and then tackle the map and then eventually kill the last boss. So I think you might be able to PvP in it, but I think I'm somewhat against that just because it kind of sucks for the person that built up everything and then has it destroyed. So it becomes a bit of a free for all scenario. Uh, this guy, Bounty Hunter, can minus armor and stuff like that and debuff them. The Makes sense. This guy is pretty solid. He's got a chance to do extra damage and dodge, as well as Divine Shield Reincarnation. Garifoss is Garifoss, but he does have Cleave here, which is pretty badass. This is the character I'm probably going to take. I'm not even sure if he has spells. He's just basically super kind of auto strong. So, Fury. And his strength, which is always enticing to me over agility. If you can get enough strength later on in the game. Bog Standard Mountain King. Bandit King. Well, he's got like a chance to stun on auto attack. Wind War. Very good for getting around, basically. And a chance to stun on hit, which is pretty damn powerful. This guy's like a spellcaster, yet at the same time agility based and summon. So, I'm not sure how that will work out. Bog Standard Blood Mage. We've got mm, auto attacking Mountain King character with Blink, basically. Spells on that dude. And more standard spells on that Archmage. Uh, Moving over to here. Tentacle Enjoyer. Uh, bog standard Dark Ranger, but she can actually charm units, and it goes up to level 6 instead of 3. Fireball is like a stun on the Stormbolt, and Cleave attacks. The Pitlord's kind of like, you know, fairly solid, but maybe lackluster in comparison to some of these heroes now. Death and Decay would always be very, very strong. Breath of the Dying, Summon Undead, Life Drain, and Death and Decay. This guy's basically like a better version of the Lich. He's just consistent, can summon and keep you going. Uh, Impale, Box Standard, Dreadlord, Box Standard, Crypt Lord, yep. And then we've got this dude with Time Walk, 300 second cooldown, and like a 12 second stun, which is weird. Rift, he can summon units based on them being dead and a chance to miss on uh, being attacked as well as do four times damage. So he's pretty strong, that character as well. Uh, female Arthas, we love her, but she's only got the bash really going for her and a bit of extra movement speed. Then you've got 50 Cent, the pimp. He has pillage, spread the love, bitch slap, hang a whip, pimp dance. So he's probably pretty strong to be honest, but uh, there's not many buildings to attack, so I'm not sure if you're going to get much value out of that uh, pillage. Bog standard Tinker. Then you've got an Immortal. I'm not sure how this character works, but it says it grants the Evoker Immortality, which seems like it would be kind of strong. So I guess that's Divine Shield or something for a period of time. So these characters, some of them are like god-type characters. So if you look at the tooltip, it'll say something like, Ent, God of Trees, cannot learn skills until level 19. So if you look at their skills, they're kind of powerful, some of them. Dr. Phil, funny name. Maybe not the best character there. Tauren Chieftain, Bog Standard. Demon Hunter, Bog Standard. Ass Assin, 
probably pretty strong. She can detect invisibility. She's got chance to avoid any damage. And she's got chance of a massive crit there. 6% chance for 10 times damage. Could be kind of bonkers. Warden, box standard. But the end, this is one of those god type characters where if you do get them level 21, they get 75 to all stats. Which is pretty strong, you can imagine. The same sort of thing for these characters as well. She's got slightly better looking abilities though when she gets uh, leveled up. They only have like a couple of abilities. So you just kind of like, you're not going to be doing much with those characters for a long period of time. This guy can summon some stuff, including the snack. Alright, let's get started. There's a shop down here. I'll leave one behind. The mana pots are really cheap. 25 gold, but you can only have three of them. And you just go around and attack stuff. Find mobs to kill. Let's try these ones. Starting off quite a tough one, actually. There's a level 6 there. I'm not sure my cleave is reaching. So it must be really, really... Oh, I picked the bash! Oh, he doesn't have cleave. I saw the icon. I was like, oh, there's the cleave. That's good. Nice item to pick up there. Bit lucky. That's the easier creek camp to start off with. I came a little bit too far to the left. One thing you'll notice is, is you'll upset these mobs. And they will get angry. You can fight a mob and then the next mobs next to it will start going for you as well. Luckily I got some health pots there. Otherwise I would have been in a lot of trouble here. Cyborg. Our one random player has left. Well, there you go. What a surprise. Um... Yes, we have to get level 3 according to this map. The first person to get level 3 means that all characters can go to the middle. Oh my gosh, am I going to die? Not quite. That's nice. Thank you for the level up. Uh, let's take the strength. Yeah, should have taken that as well. That's plus 6 strength, plus 3 to agility. Sounds cool. Get off to a good start. Going to need some healing again, aren't I? So I'm going to run back to the middle. At the stone in the middle, apparently you can buy a base, and you just need to go set up a base where the gold mines are. Speed scroll would be nicer. Keep hold of that bad boy. There's another one of heals. Might be worth buying this as well, just to keep going. A couple of crates here and such. I'm not sure where you buy the base, though. Like it says there is a base in the middle. Smack bang, right? Have you guys worked out where that rock is? says in the middle, right? Mm. Pitiful. Debatable. Alright, let's try these satyrs. After I've killed a couple of barrels. Oh, Balador. So close. See, I've upset this guy over here. That's okay, we can take him. Let's roll around. I've upset those guys. You can actually buy transport here for 2,000 gold, ground, and there's air transport as well, which is cheaper than the ground transport. Don't know why, it just is. I don't believe you can repick, no. Alright, need to find a couple more green spots to do to get that level free. Tremble before me. You fail to amuse me. What a foolish These will do. Oh, okay, well there you go. Just been teleported back. So, here's the stone. There's a base. Yo, you have to have some gold for it, though. Undead Nation nest. Blood Elf Nation is super expensive. I kind of want to... Can I sell stuff for that? 200, 250. I don't think I can sell enough to get the Blood Elf base. I might go creep. <laughs> I don't know. I just need to find 1,100 gold. And then I could buy the Blood Elf base. They do chaos damage. You've got to go for that one, right? If I knew. So that's 800 gold. That's 1,000. I think I've got enough if I sold everything. If I just do like one more creek camp. But I'm trying to find a green camp. I can actually do that. Actually exists. Any green camps in chat? I think I've got to walk quite far, unfortunately. 
Boost of speed looks tempting for an hour. Where is a creep? There we go. We've got a creep to actually kill, thankfully. Okay. Nice movement speed, which will be good for getting around as well. Willow Wisp. Give me big money. 24 gold. That's massive. I can't attack that because it's air. I can attack these, though. And maybe the barrels will give me something. Nope. No luck there. I've pissed off these guys. But I can deal with that. Okay, so if you have 700, 900, yeah, you definitely have enough. You'd have to sell the Hellstone there, which kind of sucks, but got to do what you got to do. Right. Speed scroll back. You probably want to put your base, yeah, next to a gold mine or something. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. What's going on with the priests of the moon? 1,100. Beep. I'm going up to here. This is my base. Simple. It's just at the top left. All those creeps everywhere. If you've got a cleave, you can obviously make a big use out of all these mobs stacked together. Round we go. You fail to amuse me. There's a level two uh, dreadlord here. We're under attack. I'm gonna put my base there. Let's hope he doesn't I do something that kills destroy. it instantly. Beautiful. Otherwise, that'd be very expensive. What is your feeble request? Tremble before me. Nice bash proc. Gotcha. Maybe I can buy some workers. There's a lever here. Hit the lever. I might just leave that, to be honest. So that's one entrance. And there was another entrance over here by the bridge. There's some trees and a gold mine. So, Blood Elf Worker, probably? Blood Elf Leech? Let's go fight the pigs. Wood Harvester, the Blood Elf Mages have summoned the spirits of slain countrymen who aid them in the construction of their empire. The leeches drain the life force of any tree and transform it into buildable materials. Leeches would... Four times as fast as... So they're wisps, basically. That's good, because it means they don't destroy the trees. Cargo wagon moves slowly, but it's capable of carrying large quantities of gold. I mean, kind of. Not, does it build gold over time? If not, I've just got gold here. Why do I need to carry gold? <laughs> That's the sneeze. Scroll of the Beast. I can sell that bad boy. Worker is worth two food. Oh, there's a dragon. We're not going to fight that. Balador, Balador. What a foolish ploy. We're under attack. I'm not even sure there's an... Oh, hello. That's a lot of mobs in one spot. Wow, how do you manage to bump into that many? You fail to amuse. There's a mob in my camp. I don't see it. Of him, he's like a shopper. So drop bridge. Oh, shit, man. I'm being attacked by everything, and it's all fucking air. Right. That's brilliant. So you're going to need an orb of lightning or something. He's going to bolt me. I have to fight these around the corner. Let's get the strength, because it's a bit more health. See if I can actually kill something. Oh, here he comes. Coming in for another bolt. Come on, bugger off. Whatever. Uh, I don't think I can fight anything at the moment. I need to go find a fountain of health. Let's go find a fountain. I thought I passed by one. Oh, well, just go to here. That will do. Or here. Right. We've got a farm. So we need lumber. Which needs food supply for that. So you're going to have to do a traditional farm anyway. Hello. Looks like I started beef with these characters as well. So let's get onto the lumber. Get 20 lumber at least. How do I even share? Just type, tell me the message to type in. Uh, 
What did you share with Cyborg? Make sure to do that. Okay, these guys have done what they need to do. Let me do it. No, but it's something becomes What do you want? You're interrupting my calculation. Blood Elven Harvesting Deposit. Both lumber and gold, and then it's magically transported to your base. Sure, I guess you can make an proxy base then with it or something, but I'll just build a bit of everything, I suppose, and then work it out as I go. Pitiful. Some of the tooltips are a little bit longer than they should be, really, if you're just trying to get into it. See, this is straightforward. Build units. Job done. They're a little long-winded. Hey, that... I remember that. I did this creek camp and I got teleported over, didn't I? This will please me. Cool. You Orange spot there. Me. Cool, we got wisps. That's good. Like that. Let me do it. Now, if there's lots of wisps, then get lots of lumber. I could drop the bridge. Uh, not that I don't think anyone's going to attack me right now. Looks like another... Oh my god. Yeah, let's not fight him yet. Seems a little strong. Fred's got the Naga base. Regulus, level 7 Sauron. What the hell? Seems kind of strong stats there. Where'd you even get him from? I don't even... Is that a cheat character, Legolas? It probably fucking is, isn't it? He was middle shot. You sure? I went over all the heroes. And I didn't see that one. How does he always find a hero that didn't seem to exist? Interesting. Gold is okay, fair enough. I didn't see that shop. Oh. It looked like there was four shops. Oh, jeez. That's a lot. What a foolish ploy. Right, give me something to do. I guess I have to come all the way over here. Let's tech up in a second. You get him there, get him there. Sneaky, elusive fifth shot. I'm surprised there's even a fifth one. There's so many heroes. Oh, hello. I'm dead. Okay, so how do I get my hero back? Alter, maybe? Or does he just resurrect normally? Oh, Legolas. DC'd. I'll have it up in no time. I think my character ran into a nice, really strong... Oh, he ran into that shade, didn't he? Trying to come back to my base. I'll have it up in no time. Blood Forge. So, okay, let's read through this. Blood Elven Guard Tower provides efficient protection against both air and ground. So anti-air, anti-ground. Building for units. Blood Elven Harvesting Depot. Uh, building is able to process both lumber and gold. It's transported magically. It also contains several building upgrades. You got upgrades for weapons and... Yeah, was it on my main? I'll have to check my main after it's finished attacking. Blood Elven Farm. Gives 10 food instead of 6, but that comes at a price. The efficiency, that's fat. Like, that's a tool tip you don't really need. Build Fountain of Regeneration. The Fountain of Blood uh, works just like a Fountain of Power, but this fountain can be destroyed. That's pretty useful, I suppose. Good for putting out on the map. Blood Elven Arcane Study, so Priest Fanatic Spellbreakers. Probably just go for the highest tier units, to be honest, if you're going to build anything on food based and your gold. Produces Blood Elf Juggernauts and War Creations. Those both sound very interesting to me. And the Hellgate. The Blood Elves have seeked. Oh, you want the stuff with uh, Chaos Damage, too. Have seeked help in the Dark Arts and learnt how to construct a Hellgate. The Gate can summon many fierce demons and other vile creatures that should best left alone. And then the fault, which is a shop, basically. Okay, so now we've got a bit of an understanding of how that works. Hmm. You get to name your base. Did it say what my base name was when I made it? It's just like witty 2444 or whatever. I got a sorceress here for some reason, too. And in the stash, there's a sphere of doom. Swap out the workers with the wagons. They collect 40 gold. Ah, so the wagons are better. Mm, okay. That's what the wagons are about. I'll try one wagon then. I've got to get my hero too. Having a shopping base is nice to sell crappy items. Yep, agreed. 
I don't think you get attacked by any mobs, so I don't know if I need to drop the bridge. Also, that's interesting how you can just drop the bridge. Right, there's the hero. Doesn't take too long to come out, thankfully. Sorceress is just going to chill in my base, I guess. You get attacked by air, so you might want some towers. Okay, so we get the cargo wagon. Oh, I see. It moves slowly, but it can... The 40 is kind of confusing, that. But no, it's basically another worker, but it does the 40 instead of the... Ah! Oh, increases the amount of gold the Blood Elf can carry by 10. But that's still going to be worse than the Blood Elf cargo wagon, right? Let's just fight these and hope I can take them. Kind of. Kill a couple. And then bail out. Ooh. Oh, you son of a gun. That is a really high damage Huntress. Okay, she's pumping out 40 to 50 damage then. Because there's no way she should have killed me otherwise. Very high damage Huntress. Please tell people to get level 6 to research so they can continue their level up. Yeah, I was trying to get level 6, but I have to fight like 70 mobs at the same time. I assume you can only have 5 in the gold mine at the same time? I don't know. Just keep doing the meat wag the cargo wagons and it should eventually pay off for itself. Of course, there's the burrows. So we get the burrows. Get the burrows in chat. Hero's back. Happy to go. So here's the shop, Blood Elf Fault. Keep pumping that out. I just need something easy to creep that isn't going to like absolutely annihilate or destroy me. But that, again, you can't do. Nice green spot would do lovely. Okay. I can kill that, but I'm going to lose a fair bit of health. Is the worker better than the meat, the wagon, though? Because he moves really slow. The worker can be given 20 gold, though. This is going to be close. Come on. Oh my god. You may now research Rise to Power at your base to gain more levels. Beware, for there are rumor of the Dark Terror lurking in the woods to the west of the temple. Sure, whatever. You fail to amuse me. Hmm. Meat wagging it up. Okay, so there's your shops. Blood Elf Tower. Spellbook. Rise. Let's do the rise to power then, shall we? Take action and leave those behind. So you can go past level 6 then, I assume. And we're still just constantly doing wagons. Hero needs to stand where he is, so he actually gets the healing. Yeah, the workers, I wonder if they are starting to impact. It looks like these just go kind of straight in. So it's just the movement. The work They're almost on like a separate... Deal. But I'll probably take all the workers off once I get enough wagons. Just takes a while. Nice, thank you. Gave me something to creep. I want to keep taking as well. I feel like you should build multiple bases. I go back 1,100 gold for another base, right? Because it takes so long to get stuff from your main base, and you want to get a whole bunch of stuff from your main base. I really am tempted to, actually. Maybe? I don't even know if there's any spare bases anymore. Just still building the same base. Fuck it. This is taking so long.
Our allies hero has been slain. More bases are required. Take the other gold mine. What other gold mine, though? I can't see because of all the icons. You got one there, you got a base there, a base down there, a base there, and a base there. I think everyone's got the. There's only like five bases. Don't waste my time. Pitiful. Oh, this one. Unless someone's taking that. Yeah, there isn't. I'll have it up in no time. No, no, no. Not like that. Let me do that. An elf would have thought of something better. I'm popping down, taking a look. Having a gander. Sanzel's desperately trying to defend his bear base. What trickery is this? Maybe this is hostile now. Oh, Croyville's nicked it. I've just gone all the way down there. He's not shared. Fission. He can't be trusted. But you didn't share, because otherwise I would have seen. I will just do the base on my own base, because I don't think there's another gold mine to have anyway. Can't hurt to have a backup. Have Worst case no scenario. Time. I'll take all these guys off now and just stick want? them on wood. We're under what trick is this? There is a depot too as well, actually. Yeah, there's this blood elf thingamajig. Just destroy this tree and then put one down. Oh, well, that's nice. Thanks for letting me know that. Only one hideout nation is allowed per player, so I guess uh, I got my money back for that one, did I? Oh, okay, no, maybe, maybe not. Why don't you just not let me buy another base? Or tell me when I buy it. Maybe that. Maybe give that a go. What else do we need? I can buy... Uh, well, I can't get... Hmm, where do I get an orb from? There's a shop here. Oh, shop there as well. Because you can buy a Zeppelin. Flying air truck. That's probably fast, that one. Let's see what this says. Armor. Magic. Probably just upgrade it anyway. Fuck it. That's damage of units. Understood. What else can we build? The Hellgate. That was the interesting one, right? Let's start off with the Hellgate first. So it boosts the speed. What a foolish Hello. Oh, you can just smash the tones. On a long cooldown there. Room braces, replenishment. Still no... I guess I will have to go to that location for the orb then. What a foolish yeah. Kind of want to buy these. 
and then put them down. But so you got the cargo, Nirvana. Let's just do that. Bestow upon your armies something, something, something. Oh. Immunity to magic. Orb is slow. Orb of corruption has been stolen. So orb of lightning is good for like freezing mobs. Who's attacking? Cheeky crit fiend. Hey, Aztec, thank you very much there for the sub. Oh, he's doing loads of damage with that shot. Hang on a second. Damn, he managed to finish the Sork with his last hit. That kind of sucks. Cheeky bugger. I don't think you can lower the gate. I'll have it up in no time. That's not in the blueprints. An elf would have some without a hero nearby. Our town is under attack. Slaughter. No, 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 not like that. Let me need to stop destroying these trees as well. Yes, yes, I'm already on it. Our allies have been slain. Pitiful. It's really hard to get those goblin landmines to work. What a foolish ploy. XD. Okay, whatever. I tried. Right, what do we got? Blood Elf Juggernaut. Chaos. Destroying buildings slowly. Oh my god. Where? Airship. That could be the way to go. Transports. Never Dragon. And Focus of Spirit. Don't know what the heck Focus of Spirit is, but there you go. It's something. So, what else have we got? Towers. Of something You're interrupting better. my calculations. Forge. Arcane study. That's not in the blueprints. Tremble before me. You're manipulating with towers. Just whacking down all the goblin landmines. Oh shit! He hits like a truck. Oh, there you go. That backfired. I think mass never dragons will be fine anyway. I'll have it up in no time. Want me to do what? How did that get approved? Our outline no, no, town is not being attacked. Let me do it. Our allies hero has been slain. Work complete. You fail to amuse me. Work complete. Yeah, I'm getting an airship. What trickery is this? Let's bring the bridge down then, fine. Broke the bridge. I'm sure, I'm curious about this focus of spirit. Sorry I upset you. Let me get some lumber in peace. You're interrupting my calculations. This Zeppelin is insane. Look at this, it's like two minutes to build. Don't waste my time. What trickery is this? These have got long range, these towers actually. After you level up a hero, okay. Our allied town is being attacked. We're under attack. Work complete. Pitiful. You fail. Work complete. Pitiful. Work complete. Rumble before me. What a foolish ploy. Hero armor. That's pretty strong, yeah. Our allies' hero has been slain. What did 
Yeah, creepy farm. Is the sapling out yet? <laughs> Ten hours later. The juggernaut's probably going to be ground, so I probably don't need it. Unless there's a specific reason. Some crazy chaos damage there. What is your request? Jesus. That's pretty strong. Very slow attack though. What is your I assume that's actually probably stronger. So what is it? Blood Elf Temple, huh? You're interrupting my calculations. Our town is under attack. Our ally town is being attacked. No, for the thought something. Oh god, everything's going on. No, don't die. There's so many creeps everywhere. Mm. Oh, hey, pick him up! Cheeky bugger. Where's the dragon then? Has the dragon been built yet? No, still not yet. Dragon be taking its time, boys. Really? Okay, understood. It team kills. This is average, and it's half, more than half the damage. Definitely faster though. But it's immune to spells as well, which makes it pretty good. So it's debatable which one is better. Maybe the Blood Elf airship has insane damage. But this costs less. But this has the same food. So if you get enough of them, I think the Blood Elf airship is actually probably the strongest one. Because you can repair it as well, I guess. Legendary heroes level. Our allied town is being attacked. What do you want? We're under attack. Our allies are that. Let me do it. What is your Our allied town is being attacked. Yep. More lumber is required. More lumber. Yeah, you need lumber, baby. As well for that. Jesus, that team kill damage there. Just gotta be cautious of it. Bruh, he's got such a long range. Or at least, I don't know actually, 600 range it said, but sure it doesn't, that seemed like longer than 600. I probably shouldn't build these airships, but they're kind of funnier than uh, the Never Dragons. If my hero gets strong enough, he can probably deal with the team kill from the, uh, the airship. Very chaotic. Expensive armor there. Tremble before me. Yeah, it's got a little crazy. The ships are coming. 
Do they heal from the sh fountain? They bloody heal from the fountain. So they don't even need repair. Don't waste my time. Oh my god. Okay, fair enough. I don't seem to be getting lumber though. Nirvana. She can attack air, so as long as the ship is there, she sees it. She kills it. Simple as. Overkill Jaden, that's another thing. You can't get multiple heroes in this, can you? Also, you bad boys need to finish. Can't finish a tower once you start it because it doesn't have an animation. Uh, let's drop that shit. Let's drop that shit. Hero research again? Oh my god. Oh, that's the Nirvana. Oh, you just dropped me over here. Come here. Boost the warrior's attack by 30. Allows the summoner two marines. Well, I couldn't summon. Next day. Right, what have we got? So, grants the ability to root. It's plus 15 to all stats, chance to bash. I've already got that, though. That does protect the wearer from harm every now and then. 15, life steal. This one seems weak now. You can't even drop, you can't even sell that item. I don't think I need the boost of speed. I'm quite quick. Blade Bane armor. This spell sells for a lot, really. Right, how's the old base doing? There's still further combat enhancements. 3,000 lumber. So much lumber needed. Crazy, crazy, crazy lumber. What is your feeble request? Yeah, there's only so many items you can have though, so it's like trying to work out which items are worth it. You to That's immolation, do I really need that? It sells for a hell of a lot, and I don't even think it's that necessarily good. Oh, it's 120 damage per second now. Hello. You just stand your ground there, buddy. I need to find a way to get rid of this lady. She's very strong. I should have more airships, really. I feel like I built a billion of them, but I've got, like, nothing. I know. More lumber is required. It just keeps going. Did they actually finish this? What is your Where's my other airships, bro? What trickery is this? Don't waste my time. Uh, uh, I might be able to take. He's got enough health. Let's find out. Let's see if you're right. I'll move him over so he gets the threat. Don't kill me. Those are my marines, are they? XD. What the fuck is this? What is this nonsense? Boots of travel. Now that is useful. 
Ah, uh, god damn, there's so much. There's so much crap. You've only got like... <laughs> I need like 20 item slots. Uh, base or blacksmith. Something, check those two. I don't know, this is a nightmare. It's confusing enough as it is, to be honest with you. Right, so what have I got now? Can I get rid of this shit? I don't think that's super good. Life steal obviously has a use. This is a blink on a really long cooldown. Evasion, no. Mm, is it that good? Incredible movement speed, but I'm already fast. Crown of Kings you definitely don't need. I wish there was a way I could hit air with this, for example. Oh, that's the one that summons the claws. Oh, said unlimited range. Yeah. Right, in there you go. These regen, but they regen hyper slow. I need to build a bunch of towers like around everywhere, I think. Just covering all these annoying creeps that aggro. Oh, it's kind of exhausting this. Alright, here we go. Let's move up. I'm going to see if my hero can hit air with any of these items. I'll drop the orb of lightning. Nope, can't. So we know that that's the only thing that hits air at the moment. I need to be able to buy tomes, don't I? Did my airships get themselves killed or something? Where'd they go? I look away for one second and they're fucking gone. Can't trust these airships. Focus of spirit still haven't got access to. Let's get this. This one will get the lumber. No matter how many of these I got on lumber, I never seem to have enough. In the right spot, level 14, I'm level 13. Backpack upgrade. That's for worker units, though. But sure, just research it. Oh, there they are. There we go. Did you kill the last boss then, Sansil? Why is he permanently dead? <laughs> he got one shot by a random mob. Where? Oh, right, you had the shitty bear den, didn't you? Yeah, that was an unfortunate spot to put your bear den. Oh my god, I'm taking some damage here. Attack it. Oh, they got a different attack type against it. Also, that blizzard does loads of damage. They use this instead of the other one that does loads of damage against air. Oh, that sucks. Need to keep him busy with the hero while sniping him with these guys. 
see if that heals him whilst it's just existing. Oh, I'm doing it. Nice. A game shit. <laughs> that was terrible. No, 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 not like that. Let me do it. Just build a million towers. These mobs are so so annoying. It's the only way around. Okay, I've got mobs here to go through. Got gotcha. you. More towers. Never stop. The towers are so cheap. Oh, that looks annoying. Thank you, Nandieb, the Swamp Master. Just wiped out a bunch of my wisps that were getting lumber there. My ultimate ability is just reincarnation. I told you Croy couldn't be trusted. Black Dragon. What is your feeble request? Oh, that shit, that is. What the hell is that crap? Increases the mana. Heals massively. Could be deceptively strong, that item. Our ally hero has been slain. Our ally town is being attacked. You failed to amuse. We're under attack. What is your feeble request? Yeah, leave it. What a foolish Leave it out. You failed to amuse. Here I am. Come and get me. That gold dragon is doing a lot of damage. Gotta get out of the gold dragon's range, really. And I'm in the range of everything else. That's the boy. That's your boy, the gold dragon. The dragon of gold. Hello. Hello. I still can't get the infernal. The gold dragon's gonna kill me, boys. I can't blink out. Maybe I can escape his wrath by just running. So many angry dragons. Oh, this is gonna be a boss, isn't it? What is here? I'll hide in the corner. This will save me. Give me some of that sweet life still. I did it. I'm gonna kill Nandio because he's a dick. Counts as an orb, so I'll just take that. Oh, I got Nandy up. Dealt with his built bullshit. Our allies hero has been slain. Want me to do what? How does that get Tremble before me. What a complete ploy. Our allies hero has been slain. <laughs> Still researching. Should probably do the blacksmith upgrades if I can find it. Time to carry on putting down towers. Just don't stop putting down towers. 
Got to be useful somewhere, right? Just keep whacking them down. They take a long time to build, though. That's their downside. Right, let's get this twat down. Big damage from the twat, man. He can stun me as well. I think that might just be their natural region. Yes. Don't need that. Fist of Betrayal. Chance to bash. Still alive. I've already got still life in that, so I'm not sure. That's got the chance to bash. 15 to all stats as well. 100 damage. That's good. Yeah, that one's big. And it gives me crit. Maybe I should have kept the heal one. Oh yeah! I didn't even notice I still had the Hellstone there. That's crazy. For some reason I saw all the other items but I didn't see that. Oh, I was just about to use the Cannon's Dagger of Escape to go over here. He's got... He might not have reincarnation available. Keep building towers, keep building towers, keep building towers, keep building towers, keep building towers. Oh, he does have the reincarnation. Sweet. Keep getting upgrades. I'm almost finished upgrading Focus of Spirit, which means I can see the Infernal. The Infernal's probably going to be shite, though. It is immune to magic and has bash, though, so maybe it's use useful against the last boss or something. This guy's insane. Oh my god. I'm not quite there yet to kill him. Need to get a ton more workers so I can build more towers and build more towers and build more towers and build more towers. It's not even like worth picking up the items to sell them a lot of the time. It's so funny to do so. Just for the, the 1900 gold or something I can get from it. Hmm, yeah, that's all trash. Might have Demigod. I think I've got it all. I don't even see anything else to research from here. I can give my units hero armor actually with one of those upgrades, I think. Work complete. I'm on the job. Shredder. That's a super fast Zeppelin. You can also attack as well. On the job. No, 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 like more that. towers, more towers, more towers, 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 towers. Just tower everything, everywhere. Never stop towering. Never stop. Never stop. Towers for days. The rise of towers will never end. Searing Blade, that's like crit and stuff like that, but it's not... I don't think it's uh, necessary. Right, I can't build anything else from here other than workers. We're getting upgrades there. I've upgraded stuff from here. This is upgrading stuff. That's got that, and you can get... Infernal, which is ridiculously expensive. You would have to have like godlike stats. 
and you'd have to have a way to transport your units otherwise it's always going to be easier to transport air units it could be worth just building a ton of workers as well and just like I say keep expanding towers everywhere I'll have it up in no time our town is under attack Work complete ah. on the job. What a foolish ploy. Our town is under you attack. Fail to amuse me. Oh yeah, I get my revenge on this guy. I'm on the job. What a Shit. Got involved. That's cheating a bit. Work complete. Waste my time. Work complete. I'm on the job. What trickery is this? Ah. Work complete. What did your feeble request? What the fuck? He's so strong. I can't even dent this guy. Even with all those airships. I'm not sure you're going to kill that one yet. I'm on the job. Our town is under attack. Our line town is being attacked. What do you want? No, no, no. Not like that. Let me do it. Our allies here are the best. Troopers three times one. What do you want? I'm on the job. Our town is under attack. Yes, yes, yes. More of you. Something better. Yes, yes, I'm already on it. You do what? I'm on the job. It's a power tower. We're under attack. It's easier to scout the map as well. Another one of those stars. This is so messy, this map, honestly. Where's the boss? I don't think you can do him. He's insane. Where's Fred's army now? That's terrific. Let's cut off. Fred's got the Nagas. <laughs> Naga Royal Guards. I suppose my Infernal should look a little bit like those then. Really, shouldn't it? When it's finished. All well and done. Let's hope there's enough space. This guy's too strong, I think, unless, maybe, my airships failed me. Psycho freaking right. He's going down actually. He's 
health is actually dropping. Where's my infernal? Speaking of which, still, still. Tower just gives me control. It's nice. I like to have... Because the mobs randomly spawn and then they just start attacking your shit. Like this, for example. So if I have enough towers, they'll always deal with those mobs when they're doing it. And I also get fission. So... Oh shit. Almost. There he is. Well, he's not quite as good as the Naga Royal Guard. It's slightly less damage and less health, I think. But... He's got crit and spell immunity, so that could be good. If... It's not wasting time resources. I think it's well worth the cost. Plus it makes money as well. When they kill this shit. Dragons could be the best answer. Because at least they're mobile. The airship's a bit too slow. And obviously the team kill and stuff is a bit clunky. But it was a big damage for the 10 food cost. We were close. Whoa. He's coming. I've got basically all the upgrades I think I can get, pretty much. They didn't get hero, um, hero armor. These guys don't get hero armor. This guy is so big, he could he even get through this? Lead me lumber. What trickery is this? What a foolish thing. Yeah, you could get inside the airship, I suppose. Our town is under attack. Work complete. Maybe I can open this gate. I've kept it shut for all this time. I'll have it up in no time. Maybe not. What did your feeble request? Work complete. Our town is under attack! Work complete. Research complete. Oh, it goes up in damage, isn't it? Work complete. You're interrupting my calculations. You want me to do what? An elf would have thought of something better. Yes, yes. Oh, lever probably works, yeah. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, those Naga Royal guys got insane stats. What the fuck? Work complete. Our tower is under attack. Being attacked. Tremble before. Work complete. 
Let's see how he does when he goes up against the boss. Oh my god. Nope. Kind of still melts a bit like... Mmm. My gargoyles are there. I'm coming over here. Ah, I reckon he can hit trees. Yeah, he can attack trees. So you got access. There's another big boy. But he's probably easier to deal with. Thank you to Lich King for subscribing. It's good to know the Lich King's on my side. I don't know the bash from this item stacks with the bash I got from this, which would make it very strong if it did. This is always necessary because it's an orb. This one's like super movement speed and blink, so I guess it has to stay. This one I don't necessarily need so much now, although it does have the life steal. Oh, I don't have anything else that has life steal, so I guess this one has to go with the bash. This one, you maybe only need one of these. But it is like 100 damage and all sorts of other stuff. What's Don't forget to like the video if you've managed to get this far into it. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's just try this. What's the worst that can happen? This guy should be easy compared to the other one. Yeah, I do need that 30 percent life steal. Oh, that's better, isn't it? I thought these guys are supposed to have bash. The infernals. That's another life steal, but yeah, they're all pretty weak. That's 20, 65 total stats, and you can see him viz. That's pretty insane, 65 total stats. That should beat this, really. I'm, I'm, I'm like at the point where I just don't think there's another item I can take, unless it's like even better. Strong. They're really strong. I think they get bash as well. Yeah, it says has the bash skill. I can't blink again, so I think I'm fucked from these boys. Yeah, look at that bash proc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you drop an item if you die. Aren't you not to be trusted, though, Cryville? Where can I come from the darkness of the pit? Tremble before me. I'm back. I'm missing two items, actually. Where's my infernal boys? Oh, bugger. I left them behind like an idiot. They're confused. They don't even know how to get into one place. We're under oh, they're big. They take up a lot of space. Good do. Oh, my 
Just trying to get my infernals over as well. First one to bash wins. Oh, God. I guess I can still attack him. What am I even attacking if he's invulnerable? Fuck's sake. They cheat so badly. I need to be able to buy tones for my hero or something. That's like, that's what's kind of missing. You can buy like a small tone from those shops, but there's only like one. Get better items. I mean, my items are pretty fucking god tier. You have to sh kill really strong mobs for it. I'm not there yet, but if you want to try to do them, then knock yourself out. I've got my own problems right now. There's a tome shop where Gold Dragon was at the top map. Yeah, but look at the cooldown. It's abysmal. They respawn again. I want revenge on this paladin first. Yes, what? <laughs> Our allied town is being attacked. I'll drop a couple of infernos over here. To help out. Revenge on this power. Oh, you got an onk! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was Quam, was it? You go and read all of that. I'm not going to read that. Oh, unless that was you guys killing this guy over here. Because we killed it exactly at the same time. Paladin scum. Oh, that was the end of the map, was it? Oh, cool. That was the big boy. We still got the stuff down there, though. The bottom right. Oh. Never mind. I thought that guy was super strong. There you go. Good job, team. It's funny, we killed him exactly the same time. I thought for a second that paladin was like, qualm. Yeah, that's interesting. You can do different angles and stuff like that. It was jank, but it was like good jank.